Hi! Today I'm here to talk to you about the final season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> We're gonna have a guest star today. It's uh, Rachel, my Hello. virtual and also real assistant. Say she's real. Helping out with the video and also maybe joining into the commentary, sharing her opinions. We also have another special guest, George R. R. Martin. In the flesh. Not in the complete flesh, but in the pop flesh. But I thought in spirit he should be here for this discussion. So season one through five were amazing. Now, even though they were slightly slower paced for a TV show, honestly, they would spend like an entire season for like Arya to go from King's Landing to like close to Winterfell or Jon Snow to go beyond the wall and meet with the wildlings. It would be like entire seasons, which is like they would be filling a lot of, of airspace with this. And I'd often wonder like, what's the point of all this? These last couple of seasons, it makes me realize exactly what the point of all the pacing was. It's because they had to build the character arc. They had to build the feeling behind the plot point. So instead of feeling surprised when Jon Snow finally fell for Egrid in the earlier seasons and they had their bow chicka wow wow in the cave, you were feeling that emotionally because it took so long for them to get to that point and you were there during their cute conversations and their deep observations of things and you saw the looks between them over many episodes and his discussions with Sam and with different people but in the end they built that just like with Arya and her getting her list it took a really long time for her to create the skills she needed to actually become an assassin but we had the seasons behind that we had the proof we saw her getting beaten on, a, on an episode basis. We saw her going blind and having to overcome that. So when she became a badass assassin, I believed it. I believed that she had the skills to do that. So in the last couple of seasons, and part of it is because they didn't have the source material from our friend here. But it, it makes me sad that these TV writers, although they did give me the spectacle that I loved, I mean, watching those dragons watching Drogo destroy King's Landing was horrific, but it was also quite awe-inspiring to watch it. Watching the Battle of Winterfell and all those night shoots, I'm sure. I mean, all of it was very epic, but every single scene felt rushed. Nothing felt like it mattered anymore because all the characters weren't showing me how they got to where they got to. It was just jumping from, I feel this, into saying it and not showing me how they did it. Things like Danny suddenly going to the dark side. They had built some of that in in the first few seasons, but they certainly hadn't gone from one episode where she saves all of the Northmen to the next episode where she's burning down King's Landing. They did not give me a transition. And I know HBO actually gave them as many episodes as they thought they needed, and they said they only needed six to finish this final season. That upsets me because I had really invested in the showing of the story. There could have been so much better. And I'm not saying there wasn't good points. I loved the small council scene in the last episode. I loved that Tyrion finally got back to being Tyrion by the last episode. I like that Sansa became the Queen of the North because she has, again, built up that over many episodes and many seasons. So what I learned as a writer, and this is you know, my big come around is that pacing is super important. You have to give characters the time, grow them into their roles in the story, and not just make them do things because it suits your story point. Also, that character is king, and character should have been on that Iron Throne. People come back, even if the plot is iffy, they come back for the characters. They will get dolls of Danny and her dragons. They will get Ghost as his stuffed animal. You know, they love their characters. And they love their interactions. And if you don't give them that, you saw the response online. And I agree that it was not what we had, you know, showed up for. It wasn't what we had expected. Be prepared for the oh, count I guess counterpoint, I the young the young boat here. I agree. I am bringing Pam's. She's bringing Targaryen love here. The Targaryen glass. And the things I've taken away is that characterization is super important. You got to make sure that your characters have a reason for what they're doing. Even your bad characters, they don't think they're the villain of the story. They think they're the hero. 
looking at Danny, that's a lesson I learned, too. She thought she was the hero of the story. She um, definitely did. We kind of did, too. I know. And pacing. Pacing is important. You can't just throw a bunch of story together and put some explosions in there and make it look amazing and think that people will still like it. Because even if it's cool, sorry, you still need a good story. Okay, I'm emotionally spent. If you liked this video, um, actually, I'd love to hear your opinions about it. I know you probably put them all over the internet, but I would like, you know, your take on on Danny's demise and the storytelling and the end of Game of Thrones. And will you be reading the books when they come out and trying to get the full story? Maybe. I know I will be there to read the books. Um, Leave your comments below, like and subscribe. I'm leaving some links below for you to look, um, see that I write books. Ah, oh, amazing. <laughs> Hopefully I don't um, drop my characters and plot <laughs> too much during those books. Um, oh gosh. Thank you for watching and I'll be back soon to give you my 411 and my amazing experience with the doctor. You know which doctor it could be?